Hi, you guys. I want to show you how to make a demo student account and how to make a demo teacher account so you can uh, see what your students see, but also you can also uh, show them from their end what they're supposed to see. And so if they have any questions too, you're familiar with it as well. So let's go up first and you should be on google.com. And if you already have a Google account separate from your teacher's account, that could already be the demo teacher account. You wouldn't have to make a um, another Google account for the teacher one. Now, if you don't have another Google account, you only have your school account, then you're going to need to make two Google accounts because one for the teacher and one for the student. OK, so I'm going to show you first. If you look up here in the right hand corner, I already have a Google account that's separate from my school. So you can see right here. Here it is right here. And um, all you got to do is literally go to Google Classroom. If again, if this is separate from your school, this one right here, this already Google account that I have can be my teacher account. So all I got to do is, you know, how you use that waffle button up here and you're going to go to Google Classroom. I'm sure you guys know you can move these around. If not, it's so cool. You can. So anyway, so I can click here. And if I already, like I said, have a Google account separate from my school, well, then I'm ready to go. I can go ahead and that could be my teacher account. So then I could just go up here, create a class, and you want to make sure you read through all of this stuff right here. And then you're going to go ahead and name your class, whatever you want to name it. So let's just say this is like period, I don't know, 5 PE. And then I can click create. And now I have my class. But now we need a student to join that class. So this is where you have to make another Google account. OK, now, again, if you didn't have already one Google account separate from your school, then you need to make two because you need one for the teacher and you need one from the student. OK, so I'm going to show you how to make a Google another Google account in case it's been a while. So you're just going to go um, to Google.com and you're going to click the top right hand corner, right, where all this stuff is. You can see I have a lot of accounts and you're going to go down here where it says add another account. And then you are going to go down here where it says create account. You're going to go ahead and click that and you want to create it for yourself. And then you just go ahead and enter the information that you want for this Google account. And so um, I'm just going to go ahead and put some stuff. And then right here, I like to make like kids stuff like right here in terms of since I'm going to imagine this for me is going to be a student because I already have that other Google account anyways. And so um, don't forget, you need to make two again if you need to for a parent, not a parent, for a teacher and a student. OK, and uh, then you got to enter your password. And then we're going to go ahead and click next. OK, and then you're going to um, you can skip this part. You can put the number if you want, but I'm going to skip this stuff right here. OK, I'm going to do um, a birthday. Okay, and then going to the next part. So now we're registering for it. We're good to go. We can go down here. Yep, good to go. All right, so now I have a Google account. Um, and you can see right here I have my little thing up here. And I can do the same thing. I can look for my Google Classroom, which is down here. I can move my little button up so I can always access it real fast, real quick. Um, I like to show students that that's real quick, fast to get to it. Anyways. And then you can see right here, now I can go ahead and sign in to Google Classroom and bam, I'm ready to go. And so, oh yeah, we got to copy the class code, right? So this part you might already know, but anyways, it's exactly the same thing. So you just got to copy this code. Okay. And you're going to go back over. See, I just, I just go back and forth. Even I might even leave that one open and I go over here and I can switch real quick back into my student account, click the little waffle, go to Google Classroom. And now I can join it. Go up here and click join class. And again, I can enter the code and I can go ahead and join the class. Click the button up there and bam. So now I'm in a class. I can see what teach, not teachers, but with uh, students see. Sometimes I'll even take um, this uh, student demo account and I will even um, join my um, account that I have for my school for students. I'll just join it so I can see if something gets posted wrong or anything like that. I can see directly on their end and it doesn't really, it doesn't affect the class because again, I'm just a student. I have that student view so you could pull it up, you can show them what they're seeing and you would have all the same assignments and stuff. Anyway, it's really cool. 
Or you can, um, you know, when I first started with my virtual classroom that I have, I was really like not sure how to post it and stuff. So that's why I really use the teacher demo account because I had my own like class that no one was in except my demo student was in. So I could post some links and see how I liked it and I can move things around and then I could see from the student view. Anyways, and so there's a lot of cool things that you can do with it. So now you can see I'm in the class and I'm the student and I can go back to the teacher one, which I went back right here. I can add information and then the student, you know, so we can just say, hi, students, you know, enter post because I'd be the teacher on this end. And I can real quick flip over here. And you want to change your name if your student teacher account. Maybe I don't know. Anyways, but you can go back over here. And uh, if we refresh, since I'm the student, I should be able to see what my teacher posted. And there we go. Hi, student. So anyway, so you can flip back and forth. You can do all kinds of stuff. Really cool to have that student and teacher demo account. I hope you like this video. Um, other than that, I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.